What's going on everybody? This is my 1996 Ford E350 Club Wagon and I picked this thing up for pretty much free because uh, it had a lot wrong with it. The catalytic converter was missing but uh, for the most part it seemed like a solid vehicle and uh, I kind of know a little bit of the history on it and I plan on doing a camper conversion on it but before I get to the fun part, I want to go through the whole thing and make sure it's uh, nice and mechanically sound and do a lot of preventative maintenance on it. And I actually replaced the fuel pump and when I was putting the tank back in, I was leaning up against the rear heater lines because there's a rear HVAC box on this thing that has air conditioning and heat. And uh, those lines are super rusty and it actually burst and started leaking out so I just caught it all in a catch can and I went ahead and bypassed the rear heater at the above the engine so it's just gonna loop it back around but uh, all of the coolant drained out but when I went to go fill the radiator back up I noticed there is a bit of crud uh, on the cooling fins and I don't think it was oil because nothing was floating on top because I've checked the coolant before and I didn't notice any like oil because usually oil will float on top of the coolant as far as I know. Actually when I picked this van up it had been sitting for about a year and a half and when I opened the radiator uh, a bunch of coolant actually came out like it was still under pressure which is uh, pretty incredible but I really want to make sure there's not a head gasket leak or a block or head crack that's causing exhaust gases to get into the radiator. Let's go ahead and do a combustion leak test on this vehicle uh, just to make sure none of the combustion gases are getting into the coolant. It's pretty quick and easy to do so uh, make sure to wear your safety glasses and let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you'll need just a universal combustion leak tester. This one's from Napa you can get it at Harbor Freight they don't cost too much and this one's kind of burned a little bit because it went through a fire. However, I did get new fluid for it because I tested a friend's car. So here's the test fluid, little air pump, and the block tester. You do want to make sure this fluid is nice and blue. If it's like green or yellowish, uh, you want to go ahead and buy some more. And you can get it separately, which is good. And we're just going to pour some fluid in the top to this uh, fluid level line. And then you're going to want to insert this little pump with the metal valve pointing upwards. So the open end goes into the tester. You can confirm it works by just doing a few pumps. Make sure it's drawing air up through the bottom. And this tester is ready to go. So this vehicle has a reservoir, uh, not an expansion tank. If you had an expansion tank, you would do this test through there. But uh, we'll just go ahead and open the radiator. Be sure to only open this up when it's cold. Um, don't do it while hot or you'll get possibly burned. You can use some towels or something to catch any coolant that comes out. Look at that. Definitely had some coolant coming out of there. So as you can see it's a nice green coolant color. It doesn't look like any oil is floating on top. If you open this up and there's a bunch of peanut butter looking stuff that's a bad sign but this looks pretty good before we do the combustion leak test we're gonna have to remove some of the coolant in here because if we try to do it now the tester would just suck up a bunch of coolant and the color would just turn green and that'll not be a very accurate test so what I like to use is a uh, one of these like turkey baster things and just start sucking it out of there and if you're going to reuse it, put it in something clean. I'm just going to take it to a recycling center. Alright, that's uh, good enough for now. So let's go ahead and start it up. That's pretty good. We're not seeing any bubbles or anything coming out of there. And we want it to start warming up so the coolant can be circulated throughout the system before we start using the tester. Because right now when it's cold, the thermostat is closed. So it's uh, not gonna get any of those exhaust gases through the system as easily, but we'll just let it warm up. That level may start to rise as it warms and we can always just pull some more out as we go. We want it like an inch or two below where the tester is gonna go. It may not be a bad idea to kind of just clean it up around here. And if you want, you could start testing. So you wanna get a good seal on there. You wanna start pulling it through. All right, it's starting to reach the normal area and this uh, gauge doesn't go too far into the normal just with regular driving. You could probably pull out a little bit more just in case. 
Make sure you got a good seal on there. You can start pumping. And if combustion gases are getting into the cooling system, it'll turn a bright yellow. And I did this on a friend's Xterra because he was having all kinds of problems. And he definitely had a head gasket leak because it turned bright yellow. It's actually getting to the point where there's uh, too much vacuum in there and it's not able to suck anything out, which is a really good sign. So if you pull that out, it kind of Well, let's pump some more. Let's keep an eye on that coolant level. All right, we're into the normal range. Coolant level is almost at the top. Coolant is definitely getting warm. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets while it's idling. But, I mean, it's in the normal range, so. All right, guys, I think that's a good pass. Now it's time to celebrate. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. We can go ahead and shut it down. Well, guys, that makes me quite happy that there's no combustion gases getting into the cooling system. So now I will just top off the radiator and the reservoir with coolant. So anyways, that junk in the radiator could just be you know, crud from the cooling system over a long period of time. Maybe it's like never been flushed out and it does have iron block and heads um, that could also rust if the coolant's been in there too long. Maybe someone put stop leak in it at one time for those rear heater lines or something like that. So we know there's no combustion gases getting mixed with the coolant. However, there could potentially be oil in your coolant. It could be a like an oil cooler issue um, or even possibly a head gasket but a good way to check for that is to take off your oil cap this probably won't tell you much because it's a long tube all the way down to your valve cover but if you see a lot of uh, kind of peanut butter looking stuff you could potentially be getting coolant in your oil but not necessarily because it could also just be condensation building up under here another way to check is on your oil dipstick that looks really good. You're just looking for like a, it'll look like a peanut butter kind of liquid. Also, if uh, you don't see any peanut butter stuff, but it looks like a strawberry milkshake, that's a really bad thing as well because uh, this particular radiator um, shares the transmission cooler. It kind of goes through the radiator and sometimes they can leak together, which uh, will completely destroy your transmission, but it'll look like a strawberry milkshake. And... You can take check a look at the transmission fluid as well. Hopefully it's a nice bright red color. You still want to see strawberry milkshake. That's a bad sign. That looks okay. However, it is a good preventative maintenance to replace a radiator on one of these older vehicles. Um, or I guess you could potentially bypass your trans cooler or just get an aftermarket trans cooler. Well guys, I hope you found this video useful. I still have a lot of maintenance to do on this engine. This summer I'm gonna replace the whole cooling system, new water pump, radiator, thermostat, and do a new timing chain while I'm in there. But it's good to know this is a good, healthy engine, especially before I continue on with my project. But uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace out.